Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ACT, Nita's communication tutorial. Here I will be discussing about temperature sensors. So let's move on to the content part. Here we will discuss what is temperature sensor, its types, application and advantages. Temperature is the most commonly measured physical parameter whether we talk about process industry or be it a laboratory. So exact measurements are needed for many applications such as medical, research, labs, electrical or electronic components. So temperature sensors are used to measure temperature in circuits which control various types of equipment. Temperature is a physical quantity which measures the degree of hotness or coldness of a body measured on a definite scale such as Fahrenheit, Celsius or Kelvin. A temperature sensor is an electronic device that measures temperature and convert it into a signal to record. Different types of temperature sensors used in markets today. So let's study about these. Broadly they are classified as contact temperature sensors and non-contact temperature sensors. Each of them has particular operating parameters and they come in different varieties. But they have one thing in common, they all measure temperature. Contact temperature sensors are those which require direct contact with the physical object that is being monitored. Under this comes thermistor, thermocouple, thermometer, RTD that is resistance temperature detector, semiconductor sensors etc. Contact sensors are those that indirectly measures temperature of an object for example infrared sensors, IR sensors. Let's get a brief idea about contact temperature sensors. So first one is thermometer. It is a very basic type of temperature sensor, contact sensor. Thermometer we all know is a combination of two words thermo that means heat and meter that means to measure. So thermometer basically measures temperature of a solid, liquid or gas. A thermometer has a liquid inside its glass tube either it is mercury or alcohol and when this liquid is heated it expands inside the thermometer tube and it has a calibrated scale which is used to indicate that temperature. Temperature can be recorded in these scales as Fahrenheit, Celsius or Kelvin. So next temperature sensor is a thermocouple. It is a very commonly used temperature sensor. It is made by joining two dissimilar metals. One end is called the hot junction and the other end is called the cold junction or the reference end. It produces a temperature dependent voltage as a result of thermoelectric effect. Thermocouples are classified into different types depending upon the different temperature ranges, durability and resistance values. We have type K, type J, type T, type E, type N, type S, R and B. Next type of contact sensor is thermistor. The word thermistor is derived from two words thermal and resistor. So thermistor shows change in resistance due to change in temperature and this resistance depends upon the type material being used. Generally, they are made from ceramic and polymers. Thermistors are of two types, NTC and PTC. NTC is negative temperature coefficient. That means resistance decreases with increase in temperature. And PTC, that is positive temperature coefficient. That means resistance increases with increase in temperature. Coming to the next contact sensor is RTD, that is resistance temperature detector. It is one of the most accurate sensors. Here the resistance is directly proportional to temperature. And it is made from metals like platinum, nickel, copper etc. It is used to measure temperature in the range of minus 270 degree centigrade to 850 degree centigrade. There are various methods to measure the temperature using RTD like 2 wire, 3 wire and 4 wire methods. I will discuss these in detail in my upcoming videos. Also, it requires an external current source to function properly. 
The last sensor in this category is semiconductor sensors. These sensors are also known as IC temperature sensors as they come in the form of ICs that is integrated circuits. Depending upon different types of outputs, they are classified into five types like current output temperature sensors, voltage output temperature sensors, resistance output temperature sensors, diode temperature sensors and digital output temperature sensors. Accuracy and linearity are the two static characteristics and these sensors offer high linearity and accuracy over the operating range of 55 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade. Moving on to the next category that is non-contact sensors. We have already discussed what is a non-contact sensor is. So here is an example that is IR sensor or infrared sensors. So what is this infrared? Infrared is a type of electromagnetic radiation in visible range, spectral range of red and longer wavelength of microwave radiation and its frequency lies between that of 300 gigahertz to 400 tetrahertz. So these sensors sense certain characteristics of its surrounding like temperature etc by either emitting or detecting infrared radiations. As we know they are non-contact sensors therefore they do not require any contact with the object. These sensors are classified into two types. First, thermal infrared sensors and second, quantum infrared sensors. We will discuss these in detail later on. So here is the application of sensors. They are used in electric motors for sensing the motor widening temperature, internal housing temperature, bearing temperature, brushes temperature, and external body temperature. Also they are used in heating, ventilation and air conditioning system for controlling the temperature of shopping mall buildings, university buildings, hospital buildings and industrial commercial buildings. Other applications of sensors are they are used in electric cables for measuring the cable internal temperature and are used in form of heat shrink tube or metal housing. Also, they are used in water incoming tubes for measuring the water internal temperature. They have applications in renewable energy applications such as solar heating pumps, biomass combustion applications, wind power applications, etc. They are also used in rubber and plastic industry and have many applications in biomedical industry. Coming to the advantages of using temperature sensors, by using this, we can easily control the motor temperature. Also, electric cables could be saved from overheating using sensors. Sensors could easily control the engine oil and bearing temperature. We can also control the room temperature automatically. We can also control the humidity and air conditioning of buildings. We can also check water temperature and make it switch on off the water heater to control our electricity bill. In geothermal applications, they could easily control the drilling temperature. So there are various advantages of using temperature sensors.